Hello, welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Phil Manson. This whole coronavirus pandemic caught us by surprise. Not just here in the United States, but all over the world. We weren't prepared for this virus on so many fronts. Neither were we prepared to shut down businesses or be laid off from our jobs. We were in church one Sunday, and one week later, the building was closed. Yesterday, I talked about trust from Psalm 23, how the Lord provides just enough for the day with a tuft of grass here and a tuft of grass there. But another element of trust is preparation. Some might have been prepared financially for the economy to shut down, but many weren't. Living paycheck to paycheck oftentimes doesn't leave any wiggle room to save for emergencies. Solomon draws our attention to the ant, suggests that we consider its ways and be wise, that they are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Being ready requires preparation. Jesus says we shouldn't neglect spiritual readiness. Eternity requires trust and preparation. One of the ways we demonstrate a trust in the Lord is by obeying his word. In Luke 12, Jesus spent time talking about employees being ready for their boss to show up. If they aren't ready, it won't be good for them. But if they are ready... It will be good. But in his conclusion, he says, You also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Let's pray that we be prepared. Say, Father, you are the God who loves us and does not want any to perish but all to come to eternal life. You made the preparation. And at just the right time, you were ready for your son to go to the cross in order that we might find forgiveness of sins in his name. We confess, Lord, our tendency to procrastinate, to put off making a decision concerning such a great salvation. We confess our inclination to become lazy or lacking in our response to your offer of grace. You are the God who is always in the business of making ready a people prepared for the Lord. Your spirit is always at work, proving the world to be in the wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. Many of us weren't ready for the disruption this pandemic has caused, physically, mentally, financially, and in so many ways. May we not be caught spiritually unready for eternity. Make us, Lord, into a people ready, trusting your word, dressed for service with light burning, quick to answer the door when you come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.